In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter VBA code in an Excel workbook. I include the VBA code in most of my videos, and I am quite often asked how to use this code that I have provided. So the first thing that you will need to do is have the developer tab on your workbook. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to right click in a blank space on the ribbon. And then you're going to select customize ribbon. On the dialog box that's displayed, on the right side, there's a list of the tabs that you have available to you in your Excel workbook. Make sure that the developer tab is, is displayed there. Then you click OK. And now your developer tab will be displayed. When you return to your work, worksheet, the developer tab now will be displayed. Click on the developer tab and select the visual basic icon. In the visual basic window, you're going to click on insert on the menu bar and you're going to select module. Now you can see you have module one. This module window is where you're going to place the code that you copy. I have opened my create a weekly schedule video video description. I scroll to the bottom to find the code. We will select this code. So we'll select all of it. Go down to the end sub. Control C. We're pressing Control C to copy it. I'm going back to my module and pasting it. Control V. You'll notice that I have a red line of code in the code that I've pasted. I'm not able to use the less than symbol or the greater than symbol in the description of my video. So I'm going to replace the bracket less than um, with the less than symbol. Now let's go back to the worksheet and set up a few things. In A1, I need to enter in a date. So I'm going to put in January 1st, 2023. And it's not big enough. Well, it is big enough now. Um, and so now, now I'm going to put something in here so I know that it's being copied. So I'm going to put in um, work schedule. And then I'm going to make it big. So I'll go to the home tab and make it big. So let's make it 36. So now we're going to go back to our developer tab. So we're on our developer tab. We're going to click macros. And then we're going to select the macro that we've written in here. And then we're going to click run. So there you go. Now it has created a new worksheet for every sheet or for every week from January 1st. So that's how you copy and use a VBA, uh, VBA code in your Excel workbook. Please subscribe.